Joe Rogan. The scariest thing to come out of the show Fear Factor. After a week of scandal surrounding his anti-vaccine podcasts, Joe Rogan is still in the news, which is rare in America. I mean, in this country, news cycles are here today, gone tomorrow. Breaking news, dinosaurs have come back from the dead and are destroying cities around the globe. All right, moving on. Kim and Kanye are fighting again. Now, if you, if you remember, the whole reason that Joe Rogan got into trouble in the first place was because rock legend Neil Young said that he refused to be on the same platform as Joe Rogan if Joe Rogan was gonna be spreading lies about vaccines. So then, because of the backlash, Joe Rogan apologized. And a lot of people were like, okay, okay, we're moving in the right direction. Even The Rock was like, great job, Joe Rogan, let's grab a drink. But just before Joe Rogan could get that drink, another musician, India Ari, I am not my hair. Well, she put out her own video online saying that there's a different reason that she doesn't want to be on the same platform as Joe Rogan, and this was it. I want to leave a short message here about why I decided to... why I decided to ask my music be pulled off of Spotify. Spotify is built on the back of the music streaming. So they take this money that's built from streaming and they pay this guy $100 million, but they pay us 0.003% of a penny. Just take me off. I don't want to generate money that pays this. This is why. Watch this. You know, the nigger thing. Yeah. Saying the word nigger. Uh, you've already said nigger. Uh, D is just like nigger. Boy. Saying nigger. She's calling you a nigger. It's like this boy that he's a nigger and starts calling them niggers. Word nigger. There should be a word like nigger, especially like the word nigger. That's our nigger. About niggers. He says nigger. Guy a nigger. And then our niggers start saying nigger. Allowed to use the word nigger. Out the word nigger. See nigger. Word nigger. Say nigger and he couldn't say nigger. And most nigger. Woo! That's a lot of the N word. And with the hard ER as well, which is never a good thing. If there's ever a video of you saying the N word that many times, you better pray one of two things. Either you're a black person or you're a dead man from history. Yeah, because then the worst thing they can do is take your statue down and move it into a museum. <gasps> And as bad as it was seeing a supercut of Joe Rogan dropping the N-word like he bought it in bulk at Costco, an even worse part of the video, I know, yeah, an even worse part of the video is when Joe Rogan, again on his podcast, told a story about going to a movie in a black neighborhood. And this is what he said. So I go, you gotta go to uh, one where there's Planet of the Apes, man. We're gonna go see Planet of the Apes. So I look on the iPhone app and it says, okay, take me to this one. And the guy goes, okay. I goes, is that in a good neighborhood? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guy barely speaks English. He takes us there. We get out, and we're giggling. Ooh, we're going to go see Planet of the Apes. We walk into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we walked into Africa, dude. We, we, we walked in the door, and there was no white people. There was no white people. Wow. That video is so bad, it actually made me miss the N-word video. Ah, the good old days. I mean, you, you walk into a cinema in a black neighborhood and you call it Planet of the Apes? Oof. I mean, unless he means he was blown away by the black neighborhood cinematography and storytelling, although I doubt it. Anyway, because of this video, right, and India Ari, Joe Rogan was forced to make yet another stop on his Apology World Tour. And this one was a lot more, and I mean a lot more apologetic than his vaccine video. I'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that I've ever had to talk about publicly. There's a video that's out that's a compilation of me saying the N-word. It's a video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast, and it's all smushed together, and it looks fucking horrible, even to me. Now, I know that to most people, there is no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word, never mind publicly on a podcast. And I agree with that now. I haven't said it in years, but for a long time, when I would bring that word up, like if it would come up in conversation and stay, instead of saying the N word, I would just say the word. Like that context was part of the clip we were talking about Red Fox how Red Fox said that word on television in the 1970s and how times have changed so much since then. Or about how Richard Pryor used it as one of the titles of one of his albums. But for years I used it 
in that manner. I never use it to be racist because I'm not racist. But whenever you're in a situation where you have to say, I'm not racist, you f***ed up. And I clearly have f***ed up. Yeah, you can tell Joe Rogan knows he is in trouble. Because in the vaccine video, if you remember, like, he's outside, he's enjoying a nice day. Here he was in the library. He's like, look, I'm learning. See the books? I'm learning. This shit is serious. And you can tell it's serious. You can tell because he's like, guys, my brain used to think a certain way. It does not think that way anymore at all. I disavow that man. I disavow him. You know, this, this kind of reminded me of... It kind of reminded me of, of, of when my mom used to get the belt and I was a little kid, and I'd be like, Mommy, Mommy, old Trevor like cookies, but new Trevor does not think that way anymore. New Trevor doesn't even know where the cookies are on the top shelf. And going forward, I only want to eat vegetables, Mommy, please. Now, even though Rogan apologized, um, this was strange. A lot of people were arguing sort of against his apology, saying that the N-word with context is totally fine for a white person to say. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I understand what they're saying. Like, you know, maybe you're a professor teaching history. Maybe you're a news anchor reporting on a story about Joe Rogan. Maybe you're in a Quentin Tarantino movie and you have to use the N-word, because if you don't, then the movie has no dialogue. But, but, for the most part, as a white person, you never need to use the N-word. Right? There's no, like, need. For example, I've gone this entire story saying the N-word, and everyone has understood exactly what I've meant. Right? Nobody is sitting at home going, Nutella? Neanderthal? Nelly Furtado? Why is Trevor being so vague? What is the word? In fact, here, here's, a, here's a life hack for white people. Saying the actual N-word puts you in unnecessary trouble, especially if you're not racist. It doesn't matter the context, because black people don't have the time to sit down and sort out the racist who says the N-word 70 times with the non-racist who says the N-word 70 times. Black people are dealing with too much shit. No, no, look, look at how I was using it. No, dude, no one's got the time for that. Just stop saying it or just be racist. It's easier for everyone that way. So look, I'm glad, I'm glad that Joe Rogan has gone, you know what, I don't, I didn't need to use that word all those times, because people need to learn and I'm glad that he has, right? So Joe Rogan is saying that him using the word in context wasn't racist, but it was ignorant and not cool. Okay, fine. But don't forget, there's also the story where Joe Rogan calls black people apes. And so for that part of the apology, Joe Rogan says this. I did not, nor would I ever say that black people are apes, but it sure fucking sounded like that. I was just saying, there's a lot of black people there. But then I went on to talk about what a positive experience it was and how much fun it was to go to see this movie in a black neighborhood. It wasn't a racist story, but it sounded terrible. It's a fucking idiotic thing to say. And I was just trying to be entertaining. I certainly wasn't trying to be racist. And I certainly would never want to offend someone for entertainment with something as stupid as racism. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I have a few issues with this part of the video. First of all, he says he would never say black people are apes, but he said that. He, that's literally what he said. If you said you walked into a black place and it was Planet of the Apes, then you've said that. You've said, you can't be like, oh, no, I, I didn't say it. You did say it, which is racist, right? And it's not just racist. Like, let's, let's be honest about it. It's not just racist. That's like OG racism. That's like, like the original old school... Ra like, that's on the Mount Rushmore of racism, you know? Black people are apes. It's right next to burning crosses and then, like, every Bugs Bunny cartoon from the 1940s. What I found particularly illuminating is, is, is when he says, I wasn't being racist, I was just being entertaining. No, Joe, I think you were using racism to be entertaining. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying you were trying to offend black people, by the way but you knew that offending black people would get a laugh out of those white friends that you were with. And please understand this. Understand this, guys. I'm a comedian, right? Which you would know if I had a live audience right now. Yeah. <laughs> they would be like, ha ha, Trevor, you're the greatest of all time. <laughs> yeah, but I am a comedian and I love making jokes and I love hearing jokes and I love, I love all kinds of jokes, right? I love safe jokes. I like dark jokes. I like jokes. But just because something is a joke doesn't mean it can't be something else as well, because a joke can be racist. 
right? In fact, a joke can be racist and funny if you're telling it to the right crowd. It's no joke with somebody, it's never funny. Yeah, someone can find it funny. But the laughs don't mean that there's no racism. Think of it this way, think of it this way. If I rob a bank and I get busted, I can't defend myself by saying, nah, guys, I did it as a joke. Yeah, but you pistol whipped the bank teller. Yeah, but, uh, but I made a funny sound when I did it. I was like, yang, 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 give me the money, bitch. So do I get to go now? So yeah, Joe Rogan is saying that he would never say something racist. And now, because of that, obviously, in the video, a lot of his fans are like, yeah, he would never say something racist. It's just a joke, you guys are uptight. He would never say something racist. A joke is not racist. And you know what? I, I can have my opinion, and you can have your opinion, fine. But you know whose opinion I think matters more than most people? is Joe Rogan. And here's what Joe Rogan said about his joke when he said it. We walk into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we walked into Africa, dude. We, we, we walked in the door and there was no white people. There was no white people. We, Planet of the Apes didn't take place in Africa. Just, that was a racist thing for me to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is a racist thing for you to say. You're saying it's racist, but then in the video, you're gonna be like, oh, it just wasn't, wasn't racist. Joe Rogan said a racist thing and then immediately acknowledged that it was racist. Literally when he said it, he said it and then he's like, well, that was racist. And then now he's like, I would never, never say a racist. Like, you know, this whole thing makes me go like, why are people so adamant that it wasn't racist? Why, like, why do people, people do a thing that's racist and then they go like, no, it's not racist. Can I, can I be honest with you? Honestly, I'm not a scholar. I'm not like the, the, the whatever, this is my opinion. I think it's because people are just truly petrified of having the label racist branded on them for life. That's what people are really afraid of. No one wants to be called a racist because then they're like, how long am I a racist for? Does it, like, am I racist for life? Am I racist that can't get jobs? Am I, no, no, I just want to be racist, but I don't want to be called a racist, which is understandable. But it also makes people unable to admit when they say or do something racist, right? They would rather die on the hill of them not being racist, even if it means giving convoluted excuses that don't make any sense. So anyway, after all those videos come out, Joe Rogan got into even more hot water. Yeah, more artists spoke out. The Rock pulled his support. And now, because of that, more of his podcast videos are coming under scrutiny, right? There's a video where Rogan is promoting the Proud Boys. Uh, there's, there's videos where he's laughing about, like, female comedians being forced to perform sexual favors in exchange for stage time. Like, the videos, they're, they're horrible and they just keep coming. And if there's something you, 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 you shouldn't have said in public, basically, Rogan has said it on his podcast, which, as you can imagine, is a pretty big problem for Spotify. Because now, they own $100 million worth of problems. So this weekend, after dealing with all the episodes with vaccine information, Spotify was now scrambling to take down all the offensive episodes that they could find. In fact, I, I think we have some footage of Spotify headquarters over the weekend. We are taking heavy fire. I need you to delete those podcasts. We're deleting them as fast as we can. We're still getting backlash from the vaccines. I can't make it stop. New reports of misogyny are popping up everywhere. Sir, incoming cleaner of the ape story. Those bastards never stood a chance. No, but for real though, Spotify is having a, a hell of a time navigating this situation. Um, and you can tell like how tough this is from the response of their CEO. Spotify and its CEO, Daniel Eck, responding to the latest controversy around the Joe Rogan experience. In a memo to staff, Eck said, quote, not only are some of Joe Rogan's comments incredibly hurtful, I want to make clear that they do not represent the values of the company. Eck adding, he does not believe silencing Rogan is the answer. Eck said he is committing $100 million, the same amount as Rogan's reported contract, to license, develop, and market audio content from creators from historically marginalized groups. Ah, oh, man, you gotta feel bad for Spotify. You know, they just wanna be a company that screws over musicians, and now they gotta deal with racism? Ah, they just can't catch a break. But yeah, Spotify will spend Joe Rogan's exact salary on amplifying the voices of marginalized groups. That's what they say they're gonna do, which I guess is supposed to make them look good, but it's also kind of an admission that Rogan's podcast is bad for those groups, right? Like, otherwise you wouldn't need to balance him out. Does that make sense? Like, there's a reason that Spotify has never been forced to give $100 million to marginalized groups because of This American Life. I mean, whipping out your checkbook is the classic sign that you know you f***ed up. It's not real accountability. It's how rich dudes get out of car accidents when they know that it was their fault. 
You know, it's just like, wow, looks like I really wrecked you there. <laughs> so how much does a new kid cost these days? <laughs> Two million? Three? <laughs> you see, that was, a, that was a dark joke. And if I had an audience right now, they'd be like, ha, ah, why are you saying that about children, Trev? Boo! And Spotify can say that Rogan's comments don't represent the company's values. You know, that's what they said. They said, these podcasts do not represent Spotify's values. But, like, when companies say that, I'm like, guys, Clearly, the company's values are making money. Like, and no shade, by the way. Those are the values of every company. You know? Part of me actually wishes that Spotify would just drop the facade, just come out and be like, we do not believe in silencing Joe Rogan because he makes us money. But if at some point he ends up costing us money, then we will drop him because money. So, is Joe Rogan a racist because he said these things? I mean, people are gonna go back and forth forever on this. You know, it, it almost made me think, maybe the question we should be asking is, at what point is a person a racist? Is it when they do a racist thing? Or is it when they do many racist things? Or is it, is it about the severity of the racism? And then how do you measure the severity of racism? The truth is, everyone is gonna have their own answer. You know, Spotify has chosen theirs. And as for Joe Rogan, he says he's learned his lesson, and I hope he has. But I will say, if I were him, I wouldn't walk into a cinema in a black neighborhood for a little while.